Reports are coming in that Matthew Perry had more than $1.5 million in his personal bank account, which seems small given his friend's salaries. But all this begs the question, could this potential murder have been money motivated? We got Christopher Melcher back here to talk about the updates. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. So glad to have Christopher Melcher back. Welcome back, sir. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's glad to be here again. Yeah, well, I'm glad you tipped me off because I, I thought the story was old news, but now more and more is coming out and the fans have really been uh, invested in this story as now as have I, as more and more reports come out. I want to talk about this money part because this is the new part of the story. But since we got you back, our last video sort of exploded as there's all this talk about these potential celebrities being involved, uh, potentially suspects in this investigation. I want to get your thoughts there. Before we get to all of that, let's go to the new part of the story, which all these outlets are now picking up this story that apparently he had $1.5 million in his personal bank account at the time of his death. Uh, a lot of questions coming into, well, it seems like it's low given all of his you know, syndication, salary money, the Netflix reunions, et cetera. These friends castmates had so much more. What does this mean? Does this mean anything regarding this case, in your opinion? And the big question which I've seen others starting to speculate, which I want to get to and talk about, could this have all been money motivated? Matthew Perry had a lot, whether it was personal account or his trust funds, et cetera. Uh, we've seen a lot of celebrity deaths over the years, especially when substances are involved, conservatorships, a lot of people trying to con con take control of these estates. What are your thoughts on this uh, $1.5 million, and what do you think it affects this potential murder case looming? Sure. Those are all great questions. And so what's happening here with the $1.5 million is that is how much money he had in his personal bank account when he died in cash that was held outside of a you know trust or other estate planning vehicles that he had set up. So you know, one way of looking at it is that was just kind of small change for him that he never put into these other you know, trusts or companies that he had established to hold his real money. Um, so when somebody dies in the U.S., an estate is created for them of all the money that they held personally. So a report has to be made to the probate court. And so this report is saying, hey, when he died, he had $1.5 in cash, which now needs to be administered by the probate court. But he also, we know he has two homes. Those aren't listed. Those are held by a trust, which is basically a contract that he you know, writes during his lifetime for somebody, a trustee, it could be him or somebody else to hold title to that property and administer it for his benefit. That happens all the time, very commonplace. And that stuff is not part of his probate estate. That's why it's not being mentioned. So it would be inaccurate to say he only had 1.5 million. The 1.5 million was just the cash that was laying around. We also know that he had two homes. And I got to imagine some pretty substantial wealth locked yeah, away. You in agree? These other areas. He had to have have more money. Is my main point here correct? Some there's more money yeah. somewhere. Absolutely. And then the question is, who is administering that? Was it Matthew Perry himself who was making all the financial decisions, or did he have managers or trustees making those decisions for him? And this is, you know, difficult. And I hope that this is being looked at because. Obviously, he was in distress. He was not in the right frame of mind. He, you know, he was suffering from these problems that ended up, you know, ending his life. Um, so was he in the right frame of mind to manage his money himself? Or if he was managing it himself, um, you know, was there oversight to make sure this, this was being done correctly? Or if he delegated some of this stuff to a manager, agent or trustee, you know, who was looking at them? So hopefully, you know, everything's square, but that that is a problem. Obviously, he 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 needed help. He was suffering. So I hope that everything there is in line where it should be. Well, right. And that's why I don't mean to even put this as a clickbait salacious headline. Like it's, it seems like a legitimate question to ask when so many dollars are on the line and you have now a celebrity who's bringing in this money and he's also now. And a former addict and struggling with substances. I just I've seen this Hollywood story done too many times to not question. Do you think there's a potential that this could be money motivated? I don't know a lot about who the trust was. We've I, I, there's some articles here from us and so on about his trust beneficiaries, including his half siblings, his ex girlfriend, his parents. Uh, it seems it's all familial. So do you think, or 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 could there be more to this that maybe we'll uncover as all this investigation begins? 
that, you know, someone could be more nefarious involved trying to take care, you know, take advantage or control of his estate. What are your thoughts? So, uh, you know, obviously we don't have the inside of what was going on here, but the risk factor for somebody who's suffering from, you know, substance use disorder or whatever was going on with him uh, is that whoever's controlling the money, you know, might have an incentive for him to continue to have these problems because he is unable to make good decisions or have the proper oversight over the money. And so in some cases, uh, and, I, and again, I'm not suggesting it happened here, but in some cases we have definitely seen handlers enable the person who is supposed to be in charge, uh, the person who made all the money, they're enabling them to continue living this lifestyle and to continue abusing substances or alcohol and um, because that benefits them because they're able to stay in control and profit from that situation. And again, we don't know, uh, you know, if any of that kind of stuff was going on, but I think that that's a legitimate inquiry because if he was, if Matthew Perry was in this state of mind and suffering so much that, um, you know, things ended up the way that they did, could he have also then responsibly managed his money or had the oversight over his money at the same time. So it's a legitimate question. All right. Well, there we go. Well, we obviously we will find that out as this progresses. Now, this investigation is real. It's ongoing. Uh, and now there we reported on yesterday, two celebrity suspects be involved. Make sure you go check out those videos for more specifics as to what this is. But I, I wanted to get your thoughts as, as these celebrities are coming forward. They're, they're people sort of in other sober living houses, that have been involved, including Charlie Sheen's ex and another. Uh, how does this play into this case? Is this something that you think these celebrities are going to get charged with? Do you think this is typical, like with Diddy, the shaking of the tree, where we're just trying to figure out who sourced this ketamine or this substance that did this to him? What are your thoughts on all this reports of celebrities being suspected and involved? Sure. So this case is getting a lot of attention because it's Matthew Perry. But unfortunately, we all know people who have been affected by things like this. And, you know, those cases don't normally get this level of attention. What's happening is, is that obviously somebody or some people had supplied this substance to Matthew Perry. He didn't manufacture it in his kitchen or something like that. So this was supplied to him. And so, you know, it's a classic law enforcement technique to kind of figure out, okay, who was involved in the sourcing of this substance? And so they're going to do a far reaching investigation and, um, you know, people don't want to cooperate because they're worried about their own responsibility um, or, you know, maybe repercussions of, of naming names. So pressure needs to be applied to those people so that they're going to cooperate for their own good. So typically what's going to happen is, is that everyone who was involved in his life and in, in, in this time who may have known or been involved in supplying or even using these substances with him are going to be questioned and pressure is going to be placed on them. And the point of that, because we're pre-indictment right now, the government is definitely, I think, going to file charges, but they're taking their sweet time because nobody knows exactly who is going to be named in that indictment yet. So right now they would be going to all of these individuals and telling them, hey, we have evidence that you had some kind of involvement and your choice is either to cooperate with us and tell us everything you know about where this stuff came from and who you're getting it from personally, or you may find yourself charged. And, um, and if definitely there is evidence that they were involved in the supplying of this stuff to him, they're gonna get charged. The only question is, you know, what is the sentence or repercussions of that going to be? And if they cooperate, there may be really none, maybe just probation. So that's the squeeze that I imagine is being placed on all these individuals right now. When we hear about the celebs or two that may have been involved, my sense of that is, is that these would be end users just like Matthew Perry. These Matthew Perry and other people like him are not manufacturing or selling, supplying these substances to other people. They are the ones procuring these substances for their own use and they're using other people to get it for them. So, um, there would have to be, again, some kind of linkage here uh, with these other celebs to saying, hey, you know, you, you may have some responsibility here, so we need you to name your supplier uh, or you're going to get charged. 
And mm -hmm. so that's the kind of pressure that I imagine is being placed right now. Well, it's interesting. I'm seeing parallels, and I'm I'm also plugging it because we're going to be covering it next week. Uh, the Alec Baldwin trial is ha is is going to be happening, and there's the obviously the issue. Well, Alec Baldwin is responsible. He pulled the trigger, but so many other people were involved in getting that bullet inside the weapon, and it seems like that's what's happening here too. We're going to start figuring out well who else was involved. That's I guess my final question to you because I'm just I was doing my own homework trying to figure out all the players involved. We have Brooke Mueller now, other celebrities involved. We have this. Uh, Brianna Brancata, who was his previous longtime co-worker, best friend. There was allegedly this guy, Kenny, who was living with him, and, and some report was the one who was there when he died. Like, how responsible are all these people potentially in, you know, abating? How do we know they helped, or if anything, or if that Matthew was an addict and just used again? How are we going to sort of deduce the, the proper person here amidst all these players and figure out what really happened? Yeah, so all of those final moments of his life are, I'm sure, being looked at in extreme detail. They would have access to his phone, so they're going to see who he called, where the messages were. They're going to know where he was. They're going to look at any surveillance video. Um, all of that is going to be looked at in extreme detail, and then again, just kind of working out from there. And the thing that's really hard is that, again, we all know people who have suffered these type of problems. And when when somebody is addicted, they'll do anything to get to get their fix. It could include stealing from friends and family, lying to people. They'll they'll they will manipulate anyone who is capable of being manipulated. This is what we've seen, and it's tragic. So, but the thing is, is that you know, hey, an adult is responsible for what they have done. So there has to be accountability because, again, Matthew Perry didn't manufacture this stuff. He got it from somebody. And so that person or people who were you know, involved have to be held accountable. And so the charges could be second degree murder um, because this is an illegal substance being administered or provided outside of a hospital setting or not under a doctor's care. It's not being prescribed. There's known deadly consequences of an overdose. And so the question then is this supplier or suppliers, did they know that death could occur? And so some of the questions are gonna be, you know, how much do they know about his medical history? How much do they know uh, about other people who have suffered you know, serious consequences or side effects from the use of this drug? How much did they supply at one particular time? Um, so all of that information would be looked at and if they can get knowledge that they knew uh, of the deadly consequences, they could get charged with second degree murder or at least involuntary manslaughter. And could any of these people, and again, I'm huge speculation, could any of these people have been motivated by money? There's a lot of people in his life getting paid, supporting this habit, a lot of people and beneficiaries, as he said, we don't know yet. There's a lot to still break down. So clearly this case is just getting started. Uh, thank you for being here, Christopher. Always a pleasure to have him. Make sure you're following him on, on Twitter at CA underscore divorce, as this case is clearly just starting. We will keep you covered as more is revealed. And if charges are eventually filed, which sounds like something's going to happen in Bruin. So stay tuned and make sure you get alerted by hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell for all alerts, smash the all so you get notified. When you get those notifications, smash the thumbs up and leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts on this? I want to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.